I saw this question, and I've seen it before. Some people say, when you marry, when I marry you, do I marry your family too? I feel like that's ideal to to have you when you get married for your family you to get along with my family and for me to get along with your family i feel like that's the ideal thing to do but i don't feel like if you don't get along with the families that you shouldn't be married it's like i didn't marry you like i made this commitment before god and you yes to my husband like i didn't make this commitment to you hola welcome back to tea and lee tv what you say now what you do now t and lee and we back with the crew now crap shrimp and you know we review now cooking up all this real nice food now what you said now what you need now look on screen screen hd now go ahead and subscribe join the family t and lee is the place to be all right y'all so welcome back to the channel as you guys can see we're doing a hot dog mukbang mm. and then we got some chips on the side, yeah, got chips on the side yes on the side but before we get started to the video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe to tnl tv because to be y'all y'all don't forget to check the description box down below for all of our personal channels as well as it's onaya and her lip gloss line which today i have on dynasty all right y'all so yeah we got just hot dogs on the menu we got something, something simple something, something really simple. really simple to drink today what you got i got old mountain dew right here. yep and i got Got my one FC a day. Y'all, we don't have any ketchup. Like we got these two little small packs. So yeah. I got some barbecue sauce. How many of y'all like barbecue sauce on your hot dogs? I do. Like whenever I used to run out of ketchup little when I was young, I would use barbecue sauce. But I love them on grilled um hot dogs. I yeah. love barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and bless the food so we can get started. Go ahead. Lord, I thank you for this food. You bless us with. She bless us as we eat it. Bless and nutrition to our bodies, Lord. Please enlighten her. Come to come to to us for eating this food or drinking this drink. In Son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna get started, y'all. As y'all can see, we do have a topic for today. Okay. Okay. We are gonna get into that later. So we're gonna dress. I'm gonna use my little packet. Yeah, I know. And I got some. Um, oh, pick supposed to be some uh, pickle relish, relish <laughs> but we got some sweet salad cubes. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. If anything, it might just be a tad bit sweeter. That's it. Yes, they taste the same, y'all. Do y'all know the difference? To me, they taste the same. Can I hold the mustard? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You gotta worry about me using too much, y'all. I don't like mustard like that. I like enough just to have a taste. Just to okay, that's too much. Coming out there. You want some? There you go. Um, what some I've, ne I've never had that on a hot dog you never had relish on no, a hot dog no never ever ever you ever had sauerkraut nope i don't like sauerkraut you ever been <laughs> downtown in any kind of downtown they got a little hot dog stand yes and stuff? They, they load you up man you gotta get i put you chili off. i only use chili oh why well, only chili you'll be doing the rest okay. of the day you downtown you doing business <laughs> no you don't it's no bees in it so it's just <laughs> it's just ketchup mustard and chili all right y'all so i got just ketchup and mustard that's it. Give some out. Mm. You put some out. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Come back for it hot. All right. We got some sun chips. This kind is garden salsa. Which is delicious. You want to put them over here? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. Y'all, I love just a regular hot dog. You know, people put coleslaw on hot dogs, and it looks, it looked kind of good to me, but I don't like coleslaw. So, I feel like it won't be good to me. So, do anybody like, you know how sometimes you don't like a certain stuff, but with certain things you eat it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that was like that, but I wouldn't want to ruin, oh, go ahead. I wouldn't want to ruin a hot dog because I don't like coleslaw. I don't like cabbage, y'all. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little do. weird. I'm a little weird. You was eating the other day, and I said, yeah. What's that? The purple stuff inside is cabbage. That was no cabbage. Mom, if I had to eat cabbage, it will probably have to be raw. It might be Where it has no flavor. I used to didn't like, um. What? I'm gonna say uh, something totally, mm. not what we were just talking about, I'm gonna say sauerkraut. Um, but, what is it called again? Co stuff you just about. Yeah, I didn't. But you like it now? Remember we was going to JJ's when we first got to Georgia. We kept going. Mm -hmm. JJ's fish. Um, I was tasting. I, I tasted one and uh, well, at least I can say I, I, I ate this. You liked it? That one. Mm. 
So I don't know if that considers me a coleslaw eater now or not, but I like it that one. Mm. Y'all, the buns we're using, it's nature's own, the top crafted brioche hot dog buns. They're so good. And we toasted them too. No. They're good. Mmm. Mmm. Let me get my drink. So we got here. Mm hmm. As you guys can also see by the title. We are collabing again with Rose Forever. Rose Forever. Can you pass it to me, boo boo? Baby boo boo. <laughs> so, bam. They smell good. I know, they smell good. These are the roses from Rose Forever. So, you guys know we have collabed with them before in the past. I got the yellow ones for my kitchen, but this time I picked the blue. I'm going to insert a little small clip of the unboxing. Okay, so this is how the box comes. So, we we'll open it up. It's nicely wrapped. And here is how it looks. So let's see which ones I got this time. <laughs> so pretty. Y'all, I got this color because it matches the decor of my room. All right, y'all, so I just showed you how it comes and everything and me opening up the roses. But I picked this color because y'all know in our room we have grays, we have blues, and we have white in our room. And I thought this would be perfect for our room decor. So I picked this one. So I'm going to give y'all a little close-up. Hope y'all can see that. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about Rose Forever. If you have not checked out that last collab, I'm going to try to link it up here somewhere. But Rose Forever is a New York-based rose brand launched in 2019. It specializes in designing luxurious flower bouquets and hand-picked exquisite roses that last for a year. Y'all, we do have more over there. And I forget when we got them. I'm going to insert the date when I got those. But they definitely They last. definitely last. And they're over there just kicking. Kicking. They look nice. They still soft and... Everything, they still look the same as when I got them. When I first got them at the beginning of the year, I believe. That's whenever I did it. Do you remember? Um, I do not remember, but I do remember the time you told me they was real. Because I thought they was fake. Because yeah. Because they was pretty. They never lost form. And I bought plenty of roses. For me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and they don't last like these. I tell you that I much. know. I know. It's definitely, definitely something. If you want something like this. Uh, as far as the roses that last for you, I would definitely recommend this. Um, they only use natural oils to preserve their roses. And the, bu the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artisans. Their rose comes in the round shape and it also comes in the square. So I've never had the mm. round one, but I've had the, my other one is a square and this one is a square. So you can pick whichever shape you want. They all come in velvet boxes, which is really nice. They feel really soft and smooth. They have different sizes, so they come in 3, 9, 16, or 36 per box. So whichever one, you know, it's different ones you can choose depending on your need or, you know, how you want to gift these or keep them for yourself. So um, they're, they're perfect for, like, decor, like we have them now. Um, gifts, you know, Christmas, anniversaries, whatever you want to do it. They're, they're perfect for that. Um, they have different palette shades, so they have... A diverse amount of shades. They don't just have the traditional colors like, you know, red roses or yeah. white roses. Yeah, they have different ones, okay, okay. including the darker colors, which are black and gray. So oh. the, that's good to know. So those are, uh, those shades are made through a natural pigmentation process. They also have silver and gold. So they have silver and gold as well, which I have seen those very nice, very, very nice. I've seen the black ones actually. Someone that I watch got the black ones. They were nice too. 
they were too so yeah these come with all different uh different shades different colors i am going to leave the link down below for rose forever like i said i've worked with them before in the past and everyone knows that the if you get those roses that last that those are uh they're good quality and they can be a little pricey sometimes so what rose forever did for us is they gave you a coupon code uh -oh. so if you use tn lee 15 so i'm going to put it right here tn lee 15 you can save 15 dollars off your order if you really wanted to purchase these like i say you can purchase them in different sizes so whichever you know size you want to you can save 15 dollars off your order and by using the code. a very long time yes yeah, tnle 15 so yeah i would definitely high, highly recommend them that's why i'm working with them again because i love the roses i love how they come i love how they last and i love like the the you know the ambiance that they bring to the room when you see them very nice for decor so definitely will recommend those so check out the link in the description box below thank you Andre, from rose forever for reaching out and we were more than happy to do this or work with you guys again. Most definitely. My fans are amazing. Mm-hmm. Did I say this was tomato basil? Sun chip? This is my favorite one. I don't know what you said. I'm not a big chip, chip person, so I don't really buy them. I don't really buy chips like that, but... I like sun chips. I like the plain ones. This ain't tomato basil. Oh, I'm sorry, they're garden salsa. My bad. And they garden got, salsa. And got a little jalapeno on the bag. You want some more? Huh? You want some more? Oh, what's that? Are the chips? Mm -hmm. Oh no, they 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 uh they're good, but they're not like. Mhm. Mm your know. favorite. Mhm. Mm so, on to the topic. <laughs> you don't know what it is. I uh, know. <clears throat> per usual. <laughs> so. You gonna try some of this? I'm scared. I don't know. I want to ruin my hot dog. Hey. hey. How y'all want to ruin your hot dog? I'll let you bite mine. You go put my hot dog in your mouth, Go get your body out. I had it with mustard, though. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. I don't know. I ain't got no ketchup on this. I ain't got no ketchup. I don't know why we ain't got none. We got to scoop it to the front, because I only want a little bite. Hey, let me finger my hot dog now. <laughs> get the thing out of there. Okay. That's a big bite. I'm gonna need that bite back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't like it. You don't like it. Mm hmm. Then you ain't a hot dog connoisseur. I guess I ain't then. You saying, hey, <laughs> can I have mustard? Bread. <laughs> Old plain <laughs> hot dog having. How? It's not pain. It's just about mustard. You don't put. Uh oh. So you got me dropping my little. Comment down below. Come on. What y'all eating your hot dog? Comment down below. You you got you you. That's graveyard right there. Hmm? A graveyard. A schoolyard right there. Mm -hmm. That right. That's a base of hot dog. Ain't no love to the hot dog. It's ketchup and mustard. Just shot on you, top. This time you said a baser hot dog. A baser? It's like you said a baser. <laughs> All right, now I'm a baser now. <laughs> uh, no, a basic, like, you know, the mm -hmm. little small. I think that's what I like. Love. But I like chili dogs. A plain, a plain chili dog? Just chili and cheese? Ketchup, no cheese. No cheese. Ketchup, mustard, and chili. I like those. See, I try one one day with coleslaw. Okay, with coleslaw, you really ain't gonna like hot dogs. Then. Okay, I probably won't. Okay, yeah. Uh, you don't like them. You ain't like coleslaw. You don't like coleslaw. Um, well, I ain't never have it, but if I had to imagine, <laughs> I don't think you gonna like it. Yeah. The title is. When you marry, do you marry your in-laws? 
What happened? <laughs> When you get married, do you marry your in-laws too? I think when you get married, you marry both families get married together. Mm-hmm. So, so you, yes. I would say yes. Okay. So, I saw this question, and I've seen it before. Some people say, "When you marry, when I marry you, do I marry your family too?" That was a question. Unless, and unless y'all get married, I move somewhere else and I change the phone numbers and. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no to that because I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I want to make sure I'm saying this right. So I'm, I'm gonna say, I feel like that's ideal to to have you when you get married for your family, you to get along with my family, and for me to get along with your family. I feel like that's the ideal thing to do. But I don't feel like if you don't get along with the families that you shouldn't be married. So does that mean that what? you're... I don't feel like if you don't get along with the families that you shouldn't be married. Are you shouldn't? Sure? Yeah, so say for instance, I don't get along with your family. My family don't get along with Yeah, your family. that means we shouldn't marry each other because our family, our, we don't get along with each other's families. You agree with that? Yes, you don't agree with that? No, that sounds crazy. Wow, go ahead. That don't sound crazy for you? No. So, if I love you, you love me, but our families don't get along, we shouldn't be married. No. No, we're not listening. I, I, I think I got lost somewhere. No, I don't think because you don't like my family, I don't like yours, that we shouldn't get married. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm like, okay. Um, I was so confused, but now yeah, I'm fine. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm Yes, okay. That's what I'm going to say. I was say, yeah. why would you think that? No. I mean, you never know me. No, no, people do. People are like that. You know how some people are like, well, if you can't get along with my dad or you don't love my dad, if you don't love my mom because I really love my mom, then I can't be with you. Some people are really like that. True. But, yeah, you know, uh, well, nothing about it true, but, yeah. Yeah. It, it all depends. Like it, like I say, um, maybe I, don't, I, don't, I guess it, I guess it depends on mm-hmm. certain situations. Mm-hmm. Like if my in laws are violent, your in laws violent, mm-hmm. you always fight. Yeah, uh, that means that me and you will have to talk to both sides, and if they can't fix it. We separate ourselves from them. No, but no, I say we'll face it. You don't like my mom and daddy, uh-huh. and I don't like your mom and daddy. It's not them not liking each other. It's us. Oh, not liking them. Yes. And then y'all don't get married because I don't like your mom. Yeah, like I don't like. <laughs> 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 no way, mama. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's childish. They shouldn't do that. What? Not get married because of that? Yeah. If that's did that mean that mean down on honeymoon, somebody parents or somebody go be in the room. Go have to be. Cause otherwise you're marrying for the wrong reason. That's how I feel. Like you're not I'm not it's like I didn't marry you. Like I made this commitment before God. And you. Yes. To my husband. Like, I didn't make this commitment to you. Yes, it's ideal for yeah. us to... I would want to get along with my in-laws. There's a lot of in-laws that don't get along. Yeah. With it, whatever. I mean, movies about it, too. It, yeah, it's always like... It seems like that's like... It like happens meet, a lot. Meet the fuckers. Yes, yes. The, the fuckers. Make sure you say uh, the fuckers. So, fuckers. I don't think we cussing. No, we're not cussing. But, um... I'm country to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's like known that in-laws don't get along. But I don't feel like that should be a deal breaker. It just depends, like, to me. I know sometimes the parents don't particularly care for your spouse because of something that they feel like they want you to do. But it's your life. And even if it's not a good decision that you're making, you have to let your child live their life. Hold just on, like, hold on, hold on. What? I guess I got mixed feelings. Go ahead, go ahead. If one of the girls start dating some rough neck gangster dude, I know he always getting shot at this and this. Yeah, and, and, we gonna have something to say, of yeah. course. Yes, and and man, I would definitely man, man be. Ain't be on <laughs> okay, hold you. But I mean, if she wanna do it, they gonna do it. Well, this will be they gonna be a widow. Huh? They gonna be a widow quick. You know why? Why? That's why I gonna have a nasty, nasty fall. You know mm-hmm. what, son? Let's go. Let's go out fishing for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. That is kind of a hard question to answer. Yeah, I guess it is. But I, I definitely would want us to, you know, us all to get along. But that's not always the case in every situation. And sometimes it's because of the in-laws. Now, sometimes it could be your spouse 
Um, it can be your spouse. Some spouses are really protective. They want to cut you off from your family. They don't want you nothing to have nothing to do with like them. Like that Tyler Perry movie. Mm -hmm. Now, some that is situations like that. But then it's, sometimes it's the case where the in-laws don't want to let go. Mm. Particularly women mm. and their sons. They don't want to let go. They mm. just want to be like... Mm -mm. The head woman in their their uh, son's life forever, and that's just not you know. that's just not <laughs> realistic. It's not. But a lot of women have trouble letting their sons go. Not all of them, but they want to be the woman in their son's life. But I feel like you know, being a mother, you should definitely want your son to be a man, just like you wanted your husband to be a, the man of your house when you had your husband. A lot of times when the wife, I mean, when the in law. Don't want to let go is because they ain't got no husband. So they, they trying to, I don't know. Because usually when they have a husband, they don't be worried about what you and your husband doing. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, Usually that's how it is. Yeah. That's what, how I've noticed a, a lot. A little bit more free time on their hands. Too much free time on your hand. Because if you had your own husband, then, or if you had your, your own. Your main focus would be on. It would be on him. It wouldn't be on what your son doing or what your daughter doing or whatever the case may be. You know, they're going the right direction. Yeah, so I understand concern. There's, I feel like it's okay to have concern as, um, your like a, a mother and a father when your daughter is getting married, or a mother and a father when your son is getting married. It's it's your rightful, it's your right to have concern about certain things. But at the end of the day, they are marrying that person, and even if we don't like it, we have to accept that that's what it's going to be. Yeah, I said that good. Well, I mean, you don't. Okay, well, if you don't accept it, that can ruin the relationship between you and that child. Because, like, like I said, like even if you don't think it's a great idea, at the end of the day, that's what they're choosing. And if they don't change their mind so by time, to be a widow, a widow <laughs> if they didn't change their mind by the time they walk down the altar, that mean if it's sealed, then it's like really nothing you can do about it. It may mess up the relationship between you and that child if that child is with someone that's really terrible for them. It will, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we raise our ch children to. <sighs> oh my god! It's all like you were to say chicks. We raise. Oh no, we raise our children to go their own way. We're supposed yeah. to raise them up in the way that they should go. So hopefully, how you raise them, they would. You know. You know. Sometimes it's strong gusts and wind. <laughs> go your course. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know it's easier said than done, but you're gonna have to let your kids grow up. You could always be in that ear, because I know I sure would be like, hey, this is a bad person. I know you're just a terrible person. I'm going to say something. And I might be against it, but I don't know. People have to make their own decisions, and sometimes people have to fall. And they'll have to fall hard before they learn. Hopefully, they can learn without, in this lifetime, <laughs> not having to see the next lifetime. Yeah, or severe repercussions. Yeah. So... I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Guys, leave a comment down below Definitely. and tell us how you guys feel about it because that is a very serious subject and a lot of people are going through that daily. And the goal is for you to get along with your in-laws so y'all can be a happy family. Even if y'all are just not really on the same page because some people are very different. Everybody's parents are not stand-up parents. Some people parents... They even have strained relationships with their parents. You know what I mean? It's so many situations, but I feel like that's ideal, but I don't feel like you marry them. Because if that doesn't work, I don't feel like that should be the end of your relationship well, if you love that person. Yeah, I, I was mean. I guess I guess I would recant my, my previous selection because... I was I was confused on the the way the comment says. No, no, I understand. Yeah, you so, you got confused now. So, yeah. so so my answer would be yeah, it would be a no. It, it would be yeah, because I didn't understand that first, but now I do. It would be yeah that you do marry in laws. Which one? You said it would be no. It'd be yeah. It'd be no. <laughs> Which my one? answer would be no. Okay, no. Okay. Yes. The answer would be no. So the previous it was yes. Oh, okay. That's how I figured out the. Um, yeah, most definitely. So my, I, I have the same answer. Um, but yeah, leave your comments down below and say how you feel. Even leave your situations and stories because I know a lot of y'all got some stories. Because this is a very serious com um 
what is it? I was going to say comment. A very serious uh, topic because a lot of people go through this all the time. And just let me know how y'all feel about it. I don't feel like there's a right or wrong answer. I just feel like it's what you feel. It is. You know, because it's your life. It's, it's your life at the end of the day. One of the parents might be like, she keep coming with a knot on her head. And you can't say it's just your life. No, you can't do that. <laughs> See, it's a tough situation. A tough it situation. is a knot on her head. Never know. Right there. Right there. Like a beluga whale. What about the night? What did the night got to do with That's why the parents don't like young fella. I know. No, I understand. No, I understand why. But I'm yeah. I understand why you have your different reasons. In that why. case, you don't marry the sucker because he gonna give you the beluga for you. I know, but if she still with him, want to marry him after having because he beluga. don't hit her in the head and she brain dead. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if she's still doing that, like what? What can you really say if she grown? What can you do? You can, try, you can try. You can. You got to prove Baker that. Rat. You got to prove that. We'll put you on a five-day white vest. I don't know. Yeah, unless you can prove that, then she can do what she want to do, or he can do what he want to do. Well, I'm going to do what he want to do. Right? <laughs> no, I was talking about the guy. The married the girl. The girl married the guy. Because some girls be crazy. The mama don't like the girl. And vice versa, the guy. Hey, y'all. So that's it for that video. Or for this video, y'all, don't forget to check out Rose Forever again. The discount code would be TNLee15. I'm going to leave it down below. Make sure you get you some nice, beautiful roses. These roses are so nice. They're so soft. Like, you would not believe, like, oh, my God, these are real. Yes. They smell good. They're soft. They're very pigmented. I'm going to show y'all the color again. Hold on. Make sure I'm going to oh. Okay. Oh. I'm going to show y'all the color again up close. You'll see it in the little unboxing. But, guys, definitely go check them out. Thank you, Adria, for reaching out to us again. And, y'all, don't forget to light up that comment box and tell me how y'all feel. You know whether y'all agree or disagree. Oh, it's all opinions. Just always keep it respectful. Yes, Flang up my nose. Why? Wow. Cause you were like that, <laughs> and I was like, you were like two centimeters from me and my nostril. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.